I didn't allow either of our moms in the room. Mm. And with my son, I was induced and it took four days for him to come. Mm. And the reason why I didn't is because I was afraid that I would have to, I didn't know what it was going to be like because it was my first. And I was afraid that I was going to have to pretend something I didn't know Mm. and make them okay. I felt like my mom would feel like, oh, this is my baby and she might be crying. And I didn't know if I was going to cry. And then I would have to be like, I'm okay. (sighs) You know, and I had no idea what my mother-in-law would do. So how do you help Mm. like birthing moms navigate like new grandparents because they're being born too. And then like also how do you help like maybe even in the room? It is important to know enough about who you are and what you need before you go into a birthing space. And if you do not want the physical support of your parents, your in-laws in that space, have that conversation if you're able to, please, (laughs) ahead of time. Um, I think you may be surprised at how that conversation might even go. You might work with your doula to maybe craft something ahead of time, maybe have a little bit of a script. I have actually, there's a book, um, Osis, You're Pregnant. I remember the author talking specifically about talking to her mother about not being in that birthing space. It was an uncomfortable conversation for her. Her mother didn't take it all that well, but she worked through it. Mm-hmm. They got through it, and she's just the happiest grandparent now. And it, I think she felt like it moved its, 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 its own way, and it was all okay But if you do decide to have others in the birthing space, including your parents, in-laws, also have that conversation, you might even want to talk to them about what it is that you think you may need from them and what you don't need. I remember having a client in particular who had her mother, and she wanted her mother there, but she said her mother kind of brings some anxiety up for her. And she, she talked to her mom about, look, I just, I just want you to be over there. I want you to be there, but just, you know, let my doula do, let my husband do. And her mom said, okay. And she, and let me tell you something. <laughs> she sat in that corner the best she could. She, on her hand. she, she absolutely was. <laughs> and for me, because I care so very much about grandparents and their experience in this, because once again, yes, they are being born anew, mm-hmm. right? Um, and I see my parents in them and I see my grandparents mm-hmm. in them. And so I often bring grandparents in in that space when I see appropriate. Mm-hmm. Typically, there's a time in the birthing space, certainly if a mother is unmedicated, where she doesn't even know what is going on around her. And that's typically the time where I bring mom over Mm -hmm. and say, can you put this ice bag on her head? Mm -hmm. And she whispers Mm -hmm. to her daughter. Mm -hmm. I've seen it. Oh, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And, um, afterward in talking to clients i have i have been witness to just the joy of not only the the this mother but of those grandparents who were able to be involved in the experience